Hi everyone, uh, this is Fabio again. So uh, today we will see another way to create a rotating family, but in this uh, option we will use sweep and profiles. So this have some advantages. It, it can make it simpler to rotate, but others, but it's a little bit uh, limited in relation to the geometry you can create. Okay, so for the beginning, we must create a profile. Okay, so I will create some reference planes here. Very quickly, I will make a rectangle just to make it simpler. Just, just the idea. Okay. So very quickly. this so we will create two dimensions so let's see this is uh, length for example not instance for profile I must use all uh, parameters as type okay this is very important So I created both uh, dimensions. Uh, um, now I will create the lines for the parameters. So profile lines. I will create them. Use align to to align and lock. This is important for you to get very sure about what will happen. So after that, I will save this family and load it into the other family that's the sweep one okay okay so now i have this uh, family in here and now i want to link the parameters so i have to recreate the per, uh, the length and the width parameters in the host family so i will create here length now i will make instance one of course this will be uh, according to your need i will make it uh, instance so it will be easier for us to see what's going on i will make it this like 500 centimeters and 200 centimeters here millimeters sorry and then i will link these parameters to the profile so if i double click here or if i enter type properties i will open the type properties of the profile family inside the other one so now i will link length to length oh i forgot one end later i fix it and with it to width okay so now everything is okay just make this right okay so now i'm controlling the profile size through my family uh, parameters okay for profile is very important that the in profile in the family types these parameters must be type okay this is uh, some specifics of Revit, and we cannot change it if i use instance type it won't work okay now i want to make it rotates but it will rotate in profile plane okay but i will use to use profiles i have to use a sweep so to use a sweep i have to go to the uh for example to a side uh, view like uh, for an elevation of front or back i will choose front I will choose a reference plane and create a parameter here. I'll name this height. Okay, to control it, and I will choose the path for it. Okay, so I can create a path here. And I will create 
the linking to the planes, uh, the locking to the plane. So now I choose the profile. The profile is here. So in the 3D view now, I have it like I choose. So if I change now the values here, let's say 400 and 300 and press apply, the shape changes as I want. And if I choose height here, I want 500. Okay, it's changing. Okay, we see everything, but we didn't see anything about rotation. How will I control the rotation? Select it, and you have here angle. So if I change this angle 45 degrees or 30 degrees, so you see I'm rotating the profile to any angle. And this is much easier because I don't need to create any reference line and angle control i can control the rotation straight away in the profile uh, setting of the sweep okay so now we have created the parameter for that so i will create here for example rotation i will make this also instance check angle and let's see say that this is a construction parameter okay and i want this as 30 degrees so now i select here and link to the rotation so now i have this uh, i can control to any angle i can put negative values so it's very easy to control it another big advantage of using profiles that I like very much is the possibility of using offsets. So I can have like, let's say 500 to 300 offsets. So I can offset the position of the family. And also I can rotate it to any angle, uh, considering the center of the profile. Okay, the origin of the profile. So this uh, combination of offset and rotation can give us some good positioning abilities for this family. So this is very nice. I like it, to use it very much. Okay, well, for today is this. I hope you enjoyed and, and hope you see you in the near future. Bye-bye.